two announcements yesterday, clarifying what we're doing. Um, so today we're planning on doing practice problems, and uh, I'll give you a few sources of materials where you can find more problems. <laughs> you know, you got a to look at. Um, <laughs> Your final drafts of your presentations will be due on Monday. Send me a copy by noon, and we will figure out the presentation order today um, by drawing. Han. Do we get the last draft back? Yes, so I have emailed almost all of them back to the person who sent it to me uh, with a few comments. So it's basically, you know, expand this. I think you should know which parts you haven't finished yet for most of you, but I made a couple extra comments like maybe you should do something here, little things like that. So I think I have like two I have to look at, or maybe one, one or two that I have to look at, and I'll do that immediately. Yeah, yeah. uh, How many minutes are there for presentation? 15 to 20 minutes. So we'll be doing three a day uh, next week. We have nine presentations. We do have a quiz scheduled for next Wednesday. We don't have time for that, though. So, <laughs> your quiz points. You need to send me one multiple choice question on the topic of your presentation by 9 a.m. on Monday. This will be on the Friday. Each person needs to send me one. I did not. A different one, yes. A so, better one. How to write a good quiz question. It must be multiple choice. It needs to be on the topic of your presentation. Don't make it like a really particular itsy bitsy thing that they need to know. Give it more of a general thing about the topic. You guys know what kind of question you hate, right? Which one do you like? So make it more broad like that. And it can't be the same as your group members' questions. So you may want to talk to each other and figure out, I'll do this general part or this general part. So then I'm going to give you a handout of all of the different questions that you'll have available to you during the presentations. So you can try and figure out the answers while they're giving their presentations. And well-written questions, will some of them will appear on the panel. So, if you give me your question, you'll get the 10 points for the quiz. Yeah. Since apparently yeah. quiz questions have been a little hard. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
I've also found a couple saved these, so I'll post them on Blackboard. Uh, what did I save them as? Probably a jump rope. So this is from the NMR database, this NMR ship DB2, something like that. But what they've done is they've created a couple problems of the month that they put out three last year, every three months or so, so maybe problems of the quarter, where they have, here's a 2D spectrum, this is HMBC, so that's not one we've talked about too much, or we haven't talked about, but it has the cozy, and then it has some tips, here's some things to look at, or hints, and then, uh, oh, you start at the beginning, you have carbon, here's the strategy on how to solve it, and then the HMQC, some hints, HMBC, there's four of them that they posted, so I can post this on Blackboard. They are challenging. Meanwhile, they'll look through these, so it's a oh, good, good thing to practice. The HMBC, which we saw in our group activity, uh, they had that one before the test. HMBC tells you, where's this example? Here it is. It tells you a CH relationship, but it's not the one bond coupling that the HMQC does. The HMBC actually gives you two or three bonds, and so you can see, oh, here's the CH, or this hydrogen that's attached to this carbon, here's the carbon that it's attached to. So if you use the HMBC in correlation with the HMQC or a carbon or a COSI, you can then decide, oh, these two carbons are next to each other, and that will help you piece together. Uh, but that, I'm not going to touch you on the HMBC on the final. Um, so that's one place. Uh, the right. So this spectroscopy link that I gave you earlier for the chemical shifts and the coupling for doing those different calculations, he's got some practice exams with answers out there. So here's a nice. Multiple it here, how do you interpret it? Some good practice problems for all of those and some answers. And then is our final gonna be like just one big <laughs> set no. problem? Yeah. Well there will be a unknown uh, on your final, but that's not gonna be the entire hundred points. Okay. <laughs> that would suck. That would suck. <laughs> you don't know it? Oh, wow. Well. But it wouldn't be bad if you had like IR and like, like, if you had everything, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, length of the final. We got two full hours, but is it going to be like one and a half, two times? Like, well, I'm going to try and keep it the same length okay. so that you can actually finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's in the screen. Oh, no, that was in no, no. that stuff to Blackboard? I will upload these ones mm -hmm. and I will find a couple of the links and put them on Blackboard. I'm not going to get the entire, all of the ones out there, but maybe I think if I can find a couple of them, there's like ones that have links to several others, so I'll try and find one of those too. So I'll have at least three or four links for different problems. Lots of opportunities out there. Yep. Your choice, how you want to do this. <laughs> 